Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to discuss how to solve the integral 1 by px plus q into root of ax square plus bx plus c dx. So here we have two terms in the denominator. One is px plus q which is linear term and another one is quadratic which is inside the square root. That is ax square plus bx plus c. Here as for the procedure, we have to take the linear term that is px plus q as 1 by t. Then we have to differentiate this. Differentiation will be p into dx and q is constant and this is minus 1 by t square dt. So from this we get dx. So dx and this px plus q equal to 1 by t everything we have to substitute in the question to get the term everything in terms of t even here we need x so from this if i rearrange we can get p x equal to 1 by t minus q and from this x is 1 by p into 1 by t minus q so everything we have to substitute in the question to get in terms of t so as a part of step 2 substitute px plus q as 1 by t and x as 1 by p into 1 by t minus q and also dx as minus 1 by t square dt and we had p dx so p will come here so all these things if i substitute i get everything in terms of t and after that we have to integrate now let's solve a problem based on this type. So we have 1 by in the denominator there is a linear term and inside the square root we have quadratic. So as per the procedure this linear term x plus 1 is taken as 1 by t. If I differentiate this we get dx and on the other side minus 1 by t square dt. And from this we have to take what is x which is 1 by t minus 1. So everything we have to substitute. So 1 by this is 1 by t and root of 1 plus 2 x is 1 by t minus 1 minus x square is 1 by t minus 1 whole square then dx is minus 1 by t square dt. Now coming to the next step we have 1 by, let this 1 by t be as it is. Now root of 1 plus, this 2 I have to multiply inside. So 2 by t, then minus 2, minus open bracket. This is a minus b whole square form. So 1 by t square minus 2 by t plus 1 after expansion. Then also we have minus 1 by t square dt. Now next step, 1 by 1 by t root of 1 plus 2 by t minus 2. Let us take this minus n inside. So minus 1 by t square plus 2 by t then minus 1. And outside we have minus 1 by t square dt. So here we are going to group the like terms. So we have 1 by t outside as it is root of. So we see minus 1 by t square term and there are two terms 2 by t plus 2 by t. When we combine it will become 4 by t and 1 and minus 1 we can cancel in minus 2 into minus 1 by t square dt. Now we have to take LCM inside the square root. So we have 1 by t root of LC plus t square. So numerator minus 1 plus 4t minus 2t square into minus 1 by t square dt. Then integral 1 by 1 by t. Let's take separately square root for the numerator 
and in denominator when I take root of t square becomes t numerator separate square root so we get this term and outside we have minus 1 by t square dt the next step we can carry this t to the numerator the same is this also to the numerator so it becomes t square so integral t square divided by root of let's rearrange this minus 2 t square plus 4t minus 1 into minus 1 by t square dt so we cancel t square t square so finally we left with integral minus dt by root of minus 2 t square plus 4t minus 1 now we have to do completing square let's take this quadratic expression alone separately minus 2 t square plus 4t minus 1 if there is any coefficient for t square that should be taken out so minus 2 when we take out we get t square when minus 2 is taken out this will become minus 2t when minus 2 is taken out this will become plus 1 by 2 now minus 2 bracket open this two term can be got from t minus 1 whole square when i expand t minus 1 whole square we get t square minus 2t but i will also get plus 1 which i don't want so i have to subtract that one so i take minus 1 the last term is plus half now minus 2 t minus 1 whole square and this will become minus 1 by 2 after taking lcm then this minus sign alone let's take it inside so this will become 1 by 2 and this will become minus of t minus 1 whole square. Now coming to the integration, we have integral in the numerator there is a minus dt divided by quadratic. So minus dt divided by, we take full root, this root 2 can be taken outside, then the remaining term is 1 by 2 that can be written as 1 by root 2 whole square minus t minus 1 whole square. Now this is of the form integral dx by root of a square minus x square which is sin inverse x by a plus c. So here we have minus 1 by root 2 then sin inverse instead of x we have t minus 1 divided by instead of a we have 1 by root 2 plus c and when we rearrange further this will be sin inverse this root 2 will come to the numerator and t minus 1 actually our t from here is I have to take reciprocal so from this if I take reciprocal t equal to 1 by x plus 1 so I have to substitute 1 by x plus 1 here 1 by x plus 1 then we have minus 1 this already 1 by root 2 I have written it as into root 2 plus c so minus 1 by root 2 sin inverse root 2 when we take lcm x plus 1 then 1 minus x minus 1 then here we can cancel 1 and minus 1 even this minus n can be taken outside so already there is a minus n outside so this will become 1 by root 2 sin inverse root 2 by x plus 1 plus c and we have one x also in the numerator.